And we're here at the Olds Municipal Library with another tech tip from the Olds Connected Community Mini Technology Trade Show. And I'm talking to Leon Durand from uh, RIPS Audio Visual and Spas. What, what kind of advice can you give somebody who's out looking for the first time? Well, I think the, the big thing now with 3D TVs is, is the improvements in the, I'm just going to turn this down a little bit, is the improvements in the uh, technology on, uh, on the glasses. Now, if you've gone to a movie theater before, you put on those, the old time ones, you had the blue and the red lenses, uh, the little plastic ones, and the new ones that, that look more like a polarized glasses, the ones you see in the 3D TVs when you go to a movie theater, I should say. These glasses are active shutter glasses, so instead of your eyes having to do the adjustments, which sometimes people find that's, that's hard on their eyes, the active shutters do the work for you. So a lot easier to on the eyes. They have a little, on the bottom there'll be a little button to turn them on, they're battery operated, uh, they will shut off when you close them up. So as soon as you put them on, turn them on, you can actually watch the CD, 3D TV. Now when you watch a 3D TV without the glasses, typically it's almost like looking at a, at a halo around the people that you're watching or the object. But when you put the 3D glasses on it, that stereoscopic, stereo, stereoscopic uh, TV glasses will take that and give you that depth of field that here's something, in behind it there's something, further back is something yet. When you watch a show like this, this uh, diving one, uh, being a diver, one of the things I tell people is this is as close as you can get to diving without getting wet. Because you actually see the depth as you're diving, as you're swimming through this coral. The big thing is the TVs have really come down in price and the technology has come up considerably. So now we have LED TVs that are only three quarters of an inch thick instead of the LCDs, which are about three inches thick. The TVs have maybe 120 or 240 hertz motion flow, so you get a smoother picture when you're watching things. Big thing when you're getting into TVs and you want to get into 3D is buy a good quality one. You know, don't go for a no-name brand. Buy a top quality TV. This is an investment you're going to have it for probably 20, 25 years. The little bit of difference in cost it takes to go to 3D now is so minimal. Now, how about size? Uh, 32, 46, 50 inches. Any one of those sizes better for 3D, or does it matter? No, it really depends more on how far back you're going to sit. You can watch a, the modern TVs nowadays. You can stand three, four feet in front of them even on a 40 inch TV and still have a nice clear picture. The bigger the, the bigger 3D TVs, one of the big advantages is that it, it's more like being at that movie theater at home. And again, the price points have come drastically down where now you can get a 3D high def widescreen, you know, LED TV for the price of what we used to pay for a tube TV or a rear projection TV not that long ago. Thanks Leon, I appreciate that tech tip. And uh, we'll talk with you later.